Greetings, I'm Daniel Kramer, and I'm masking up because there's this virus going around. It's the Italian flu. Never heard of it? Its laboratory name is MM88. What, you thought I was going to say COVID-19? We're in movie land, folks, and I'm here to talk about MM88. It's the killer germ in a movie that ends the world not just once, but twice. The virus itself is just one part of it. This is the apocalypse disaster movie you've been waiting for, and it's Japanese, but with a big ice station full of American stars. We've got an all-star cast that rivals the ones in any other 70s disaster epic, hit or miss. We have Sonny Chiba and George Kennedy in the same movie. Who made it? Well, the guy who directed Battle Royale, of course. In many respects, it might seem like the prototypical 70s disaster piece, uh, complete with kind of a mushy theme song performed by Janice Ian, kind of shades of The Morning After, which is the song from The, the Poseidon Adventure. But we've got some curveballs here as well. So let's roll the Japanese trailer on Virus. The Japanese title is Fukatsu no Hi, which translates as Day of Resurrection. This is truly the last of the big disaster movie blockbusters, and I guess it was too late for the Japanese backers to have gotten the memo that the disaster movie boom was coming to a definitive close, at least for the time being. That would explain why the movie didn't get any American release, big or small, despite being the most expensive Japanese picture made up to that time. As one critic said, you've got to give a director credit for destroying the world not just once, but twice in the same movie. To clarify that, we have viral apocalypse in the first half and nuclear apocalypse in the second half. In between, we have an ice station in Antarctica, where 858 men and 8 women have hunkered down to escape a deadly global airborne virus that doesn't circulate in cold temperatures. I had a chat with one of the film's stars, Bo Svensson, just recently for another project, and I asked him if he remembers how to say life is wonderful in Japanese, one of the movie's key lines. He didn't even blink before saying, Jinsei wa mogada. I was impressed. Bo appears here alongside Glenn Ford, Robert Vaughn, George Kennedy, Olivia Hussey, Chuck Connors, Sonny Chiba, Henry Silver, Edward James Almos, and a number of other familiar faces. Though the full cut of the film runs 156 minutes, it first emerged in America in a 108-minute heavily cut version. Some versions pare it down to 102 minutes, deleting the finale southward trek sequence entirely. So because of all these versions, which only ever played on US television and never theatrically, Virus, or Day of Resurrection, or whatever you want to call it, never got an American theatrical trailer. What we're seeing, if you haven't already guessed, is the Japanese one. By 1980, even Master of Disaster Irwin Allen was giving up on the genre after laying eggs on the swarm and when time ran out and the Hollywood studio guys read the tea leaves. The director is Kinji Fukatsuku, one of the most commercially successful Japanese filmmakers of all time, if not the most. Known for his Yakuza movies and the Japanese sequences of Tora Tora Tora, he would later give us the major cult movie sensation Battle Royale. Virus has all the trappings of a 70s disaster movie, including that very 70s cast. Glenn Ford as the president, Chuck Connors as a Scott submarine commander with a dreadful accent. Granted, it's not quite Mickey Rooney in Breakfast at Tiffany's, but it's a curious choice. Kind of puts you in a certain frame of mind, doesn't it? But this is a decidedly darker, far more fatalist entry in the genre, and I'd venture to say that it's decidedly more artistic, quote-unquote, in its visual and tonal execution. There are some campy moments, as you might expect, and the Japanese lead player clearly struggles with his phonetic English delivery in some scenes, but the company spared no expense, actually shooting in Antarctica no less. Producer Haruki Katakawa owned a publishing empire and wanted to break into the film biz, having already produced Proof of the Man in 1977, which also starred George Kennedy, but Virus was his biggest gamble, his most costly bid at doing so. Though it failed and he later wound up in prison for drug smuggling, many have rediscovered Virus in its original full, unabridged cut. And there's honestly a great deal to appreciate. It's out on the internet, you can find it. Just make sure it runs 156 minutes.